All right, y'all. So we're on the sacral chakra. Just finished up the root chakra um, on this chakra balancing journey that I am taking. Thank you all for joining me again. I have to continue to say thank you. I saw a couple of people at the Liberated Mind Expo this evening um and let me know that they let me know that they've been kind of tuning in and been enjoying really learning a lot so very grateful of that um so now i am going to start working on the sacral chakra so just like the last time you know i am just going to focus my energy on figuring out what are signs that your sacral chakra is in balance and then what to do about it. What are signs that they are imbalanced? Um, what gemstone am I going to be using? Um, what meditation am I going to be doing? What affirmation am I going to be using? And what spiritual bath am I going to put together to work with? And so, um, Basically, I used the gemstone, whatever gemstone I'm going to choose. Um, I, I had chosen carnelian prior to, but I want to do a little bit more research on the other stones that are sacred chakra gemstones. Although I really like the carnelian, I want to uh, focus on, I mean, I want to do a little bit more research before I totally choose. But for now, I am dealing with the carnelian. I'm going to be carrying it with me, but I, I, I have a feeling that I'm going to combine it with something else that's in that that arena um so i wanted to share a little bit i'll share a little bit and then i am still working on my writing prompts and um yeah i think that's it i figured out what my affirmation will be i have the spiritual bath components that i that i'll be using and um oh i'm working on my meditation so those are two i'm going to work on but let me share the information that i have gathered and that i'll be using throughout these next three days because remember i'm doing four days on each chakra so the sacral chakra is responsible for movement flow and pleasure right movement physically and spiritually like your flexibility physically and spiritually um so how free are you in your movement you know are you do you stress over things metaphysically do you stress over life where it brings you to be so rigid or can you be flexible and be able to flow with the universal flow of abundance um if your life if if your life lack these things it may be that your sacral chakra is blocked the energy of the sacral chakra stores desires mm -hmm feelings and emotions when we begin to work with our sacred chakra we will have to deal with our suppressed emotions and feelings of guilt and shame we will also have to face and accept our flaws flaws um, i don't really like that word but i get where they're going and understand that they also contribute to who we really are and actually help us to be a whole being it is only when we reach this understanding we will find relief. The sacral chakra goes hand in hand with the heart chakra since both are related to suppressed emotions and healed, healed wounds. Interesting. Um, signs of a um, of deficient of energy deficiency in the sacral chakra: fear of happiness or pleasure, self sabotage, lack of creativity and authenticity, low libido, pessimism, depression, irregular menstrual cycles, urinary or bladder infections, lack of creativity, um, repetitive dysfunctional relationships. Um, Lack of motivation, lack of sexual appetite or unpleasant sexual intercourse, emotional confusion, you feel unimportant, you may think nobody loves you, you may think you are unaccept, unaccepted by those around you or by society, you think you do not know how or you cannot take care of yourself. So I'm going to be kind of reading back over those and kind of seeing if there's any of that vibration going on with myself. Um, affirmation. This is the affirmation I'll be, use, I'll be using. Um, I am creative. I feel connected to all the goodness and abundance that life has to offer. The sweetness and bliss. I'm going to tweet. I'm going to change. I'm going to spruce this up a little bit. I'll share with you all what I end up with. But this is what I'll be working from. Um, the sweetness of, li of living easily flows through me and radiate this joy. I love that. I embrace life with passion and feel abundant joy. 
I am sensual and create and a creative being. I allow myself to feel without fear. I am healthy and balanced. My sense, my senses are alive and connected. I acknowledge my uniqueness. My emotions are the language of my soul. I am enough and I am at peace. I love it. Oh, I'm looking forward to this work. Spiritual baths, sandalwood. I'll be using sandalwood, ylang lang, and clary sage and orange. So the sandalwood is for harmony, peace, serenity, unity, healing, protection, spirituality. It encourages a meditative state that helps us link to the spiritual self. This is sandalwood. Assist in joining of the physical and spiritual realms. What I noticed is a lot of the oils that you use for sacred chakra really connects that spiritual and human self that you know we are spiritual beings having a human experience and oftentimes we feel disconnected we're more connected to our human self trying to figure life out trying to make things happen all those different things and we forget that we are spiritual beings first and we're having a human experience and the goal is to connect those both come to balance so that we can create blissfully and not worry and stress and all of that so um, a lot of the oils, the sandalwood, the ylang lang, the clary sage, and the orange really did a lot of uplifting, um, joy, brought a lot of joy, calmness. All four of those are really good with just lightening the heart, boosting creativity, um, stimulating the sexual appetite, stimulating the sexual woman in you, even the male. You know, you should be sensual, you know, stimulating that feminine energy brings about luck open your energy up for prosperity i don't like the word luck prosperity <laughs> um i get what they're saying though i just am very careful with words i just you know very careful with them calming and soothing mm -hmm. so those are the four oils i'll be using for my spiritual bath sandalwood lang lang clary sage and orange and and on the next video i'll kind of let you all know how i do those spiritual baths i don't know if i talked about it last time all right, so that's what I have so far with the sacral chakra. The gist of it, I see that I'm going to be kind of exploring my emotions. Um, so I'm looking forward to writing those writing prompts and sharing them with you. I think they're going to be powerful. I think what I come up with is going to be very powerful to be able to peel back the layers. I think I'm definitely going to use some of um, Sister Afia and Baba Wakessa's work. Um, they navigate through emotions, you know, they use, they, they always, I've learned from them that emotions, emotions are messengers. So I'll most likely be incorporating much of their work and, um, I'll put their information in one of my posts so you can know who I'm talking about and what they do. Dynamic work. They are so brilliant at what they do with helping you to understand your emotions and utilizing them in a powerful way. So yeah, it looks like working on a sacred chakra is just gonna be um, reflecting upon my emotions, um, um, re reflecting, reflecting upon my sensual self. Um, I saw some ways to healing the sacred chakra is taking care of yourself. So I see that has a, that has something to do with it. You know, do you sleep enough? Are you eating healthy, healthful food? Are you getting active? Um, another one was be understanding with yourself, you know, be easy on yourself. So I know some of my prompts will see, am I being hard on myself in any kind of way? want to reflect upon that. Be near water. I know I love the water. Drink plenty of fluids. So I would love to, uh, know why sacral chakra is connected to the flu. Ah, I just got a revelation right there. Live and in action. <laughs> If it's all about movement and flow, it makes sense that you should be by the water being influenced by that energy and you should be drinking plenty of fluids, plenty of water so that you can uh, physically and spiritually be fluid, flow. Huh. Focus on your hobbies, that's that creative piece. Make love in a tantric way, that's that sensual, feminine energy type of piece. Um, heal or release toxic relationships. You know, that's that piece on like that self-love. So looking forward, tune in my next video. I will discuss my writing prompts, tell you what meditation I'll be using. And I would have already gotten started. So I'll share my reflections. So thank you for joining me again. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Please do leave questions, comments. I will be happy to incorporate those in my work. And um, I'll see you next video. Peace.